Hello everyone, I am Amit from Mail Smartly. Today, in this video, you will learn step by step method how you can import list of tasks available in your Excel sheet to Outlook. So, before starting, I will show you what are the important particulars you need to create a task. So click on the task icon from the top left corner of the screen. So I click on it and when I click on new task, you can see some of the information is required such as subject, your start date, your status, your due date, priorities and reminder. If you click on this checkbox, the reminder option enables. So these are the important uh, things you need to create a task. So I will show you how you can create an Excel sheet first, which can automatically fetch with this particulars and you don't have to create a separate task one by one in Outlook. So I just close. This. So I open Microsoft Excel. Here is my Excel sheet. So I have already created a sample format for you. You can also follow this the exact format and fill your details over here. So the first option is task name. This is the the subject you need to enter here. Now the next option is start date, the date you want to start your task, the due date, mention the date you need to finish the task and here is the reminder date and again a reminder time. And here you can see another option I have mentioned here which is one, reminder one. That means if I want to enable the reminder I have to create a column name reminder and I have to enter the numeric one. If I have mentioned zero, that means you have not enabled the reminder. If you want to enable the reminder, you have to enter the figure one, my Excel sheet. Now the next step is, although Outlook unable to import the Excel sheet directly in Outlook, so you have to convert this sheet into .csv file. How you can do that? So first go to the file click on save as now you have to enter the name of the file so i have just entered the task import file now from the second option you have to click on this drop down list there are multiple options you can save this file with the specific format so i have to find out my csv file so here is my csv file so i i, have, I just simply select this I go to more options to select the location. So I use usually use my desktop. I will once cross check the file name, save as type CSV and simply hit save button. Once I click on it, my Excel sheet saved on my desktop with the extension of .csv file. Now the next option is you have to import this file to your Outlook. So I again go to my Outlook. Now click on file, here in the left navigation section, click open and export. Now here you have to click import and export. When you click on it, import and export wizard appears. There are multiple options. You just have to select import from another program or file. Simply hit next. Now select file type to import from. So you have saved your file in CSV for format that means commas separated values. So select this and simply hit next. Now uh, file to import. You have to import the file from your desktop. I have saved my file in my desktop. You can select from your location. So simply hit browse. Go to desktop. And here is my CVC file. I have to find it. Here is my test task import. So simply click on it. Simply hit OK. Now my file is added in this format. Now there are three options. Replace duplicate with it items imported. That means if accidentally you have entered double entry with the same task, this option replace the duplicacy. Now the second option is allow duplicate to be created. If you have created a duplicate entry 
that that option uh, fetch or import the data as it is you have created the file that will in the third option is do not import duplicate files i use uh, second option allow duplicate to be created because i already know i have not created any duplicate entry so i just select this and simply hit next now the tricky part is i have multiple email available on my outlook so first i will collapse all my emails now i have to select which email i need to import my file so i select this email address now when it's open you have to select the task box so here is it is so i just simply select task hit next now the following action will be performed when i click on it import a file dialog box appears my file is already added in the box simply hit on the checkbox now click on map custom field when i click on it map custom field dialog box appears it is clearly saying to drag the values from the source file on the left which is here these are the particulars i have added in my excel sheet task name start date due date reminder date reminder type and reminder and drag them on the appropriate destination field on the right these are the by default fields available in outlook so all i have to do is to just simply hit select this and i have to fetch this very carefully so drag the items from the left to the right so that means i have to simply select any uh, select the first one and simply drag it to the right section so see carefully i have selected task name which is subject for me and i have to simply drag and drop on the subject when i click the uh, left my mouse the field subject is mapped with task name similarly i have to select the second one start date and simply drop here due date drop here reminder date i will drop here and reminder time i will drop here now the reminder here is an option reminder on or off so i have to simply hit click this and drop here so all my data is fetched with my with the outlook data sometime accidentally you have dropped a, a wrong wrong selection so simply don't worry so i'll show you how you can simply correct this if i accidentally drag due date to the subject simply again drag this task name to the subject and due date with the due date so it will automatically replace the error with the correct one when you think everything is okay simply hit okay now hit finish it will take few seconds and all your data which you have created in your excel sheet is automatically added in the tasks you can see task 1 2 3 and 4 so i will show you how it looks when i click on this task 1 see the subject task 1 is already uh, added here your start date your due date and your reminder which is automatically enabled because you have mentioned one on your excel sheet that means your reminder is enabled the date is also added and the time is also added if in addition to if you need to add some other information like uh, you need to add some content or you need need to add the subject or you need to edit the subject you can simply do it manually and simply hit save and close that way you can import your excel uh, file consist of all the task into your microsoft outlook application i hope you found this video useful also if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe my youtube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers video i come up with thank you and have a nice day